Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This one is from the recent 25% off everything sale, and there is one item that is not Vera Bradley, so we'll start with that. Um, recently, I did a Chala handbags, trying new things, and I really, really like those a lot. And one of the items that I had bought, had the order had gotten lost, so they resent it, so I had to reorder it, but Anyway, so it's the Zip Around Dog Paw in gray with black paw print. So this goes with one of the handbags I bought. But it's a nice wallet, you zip around, and then it has the open up with all the pockets and the coordinating colors with the polka dots. It has a big slip here and here. As you can see, there's five slots here and four here. And one of them is your clear ID at the bottom. Yeah, and then there's two slots in the back. One, two. Pretty simple. Straightforward wallet, but it's a good size. It's it's large enough that you can put more things in it, and you can carry it as a wristlet. Not big enough for your phone. Then it has this adorable little bone that says Chala, and it's, it's a faux leather. It's all faux leather. And the back has a zipper pocket, so your coins and whatnot. It's not gusseted, so it is kind of one of those slim pockets, but it works. There you go. And the wristlet strap is, is the zipper pool as well. It is not removable, so anyway, there you go. Chala, paw print, zip around. Now, Vera, let's not Vera. I love Vera. Okay, so let's talk first Regal Rosette. I've got the Mini Cosmetic in Regal Rosette. And this is one of those patterns, I mean, I love, love, love the purples, and it has that beautiful elderberry main deep, deep color, or elderberry-like anyways. But then it has all these other variants of purples and lilacs and lavender and whatever you want to name them. And then there's like this bluish purple in there too. But it's lovely, and it matches with a lot of things. Um, but the pattern is geometric. It's a little difficult to get good placement on smaller items, I think, because... It, the, the smaller pieces are just choppy. So for example, on this piece, you know, you can kind of see they're, they're almost a diamond shape main piece to the geometry. Um, so you can kind of see I got like an X almost centered. That's okay. And, and interestingly enough, the X almost looks like it continues on. So like this diamond almost looks intact. It's not, but anyway, so it's choppy, but not gross. You know what I mean? It's not like a repeat pattern chunk or totally disconnected, it kind of flows, so that's cool. Um, yeah, there's a zipper pocket on the front, standard option, and there you can see the inside of that. So the pattern piece actually has like the big purple diagonal all the way across. And there's a snap of uh, the interior pattern, has basically those little diamond shapes, obviously different color, but same concept. So style-wise, it's a match. Um, and then on the back, you can see that, okay, so here's like part of a diamond, but because of the way that it sits, it almost just looks like a purple stripe down the middle with the lighter stuff and the lighter stuff, which is actually kind of cool. But inside of these are all patterned, and then they have that clear plastic lining as well. So, so that's the mini. And then the same thing I got in the medium, because these are great for different size bags and whatnot. So... Size comparison side by side, there's the mini and the medium. There is also a mini dome cosmetic, which it fits, you know, would fit like, like right in this section. So it is a little bit smaller and it doesn't have a pocket. But anyway, so there's the sizes. I don't have the large one here to show you. I don't think I even have the large one in this pattern, but anyway. So pattern placement wise on the bigger one, I've got like a V part of the diamond, which is okay. And again, Lucky, I have this other piece where it looks kind of continuous with the next piece, even though it's not. So it makes this piece look continuous as well. Um, if you look inside the pocket, you can see where that pattern piece would go. And so if you look, there's a purple stripe, and here under there's a purple stripe. So again, it almost looks like it fits right there on purpose. Just luck of the draw, you know. Things I look at, things I see. And there I have kind of a, I really like this one a lot actually because it has the continuous piece of the fabric. So it's not chopped, but you have your purple and then you can see I have the check up, down, and then back up. 
So it's a centered snippet, if you will, and I've got most of one of those medallions kind of can see all the colors, which is really cool. So, yeah, it's not optimum, but I can talk myself into just about anything, and I'm perfectly happy with these. Um, very easy. All right, also in the mini, I got the new Felicity Paisley. I did not go crazy on this pattern for a couple reasons. One, I've been spending way too much money, period, elsewhere mostly, but also on Vera. And I do still love my Vera, in case you're wondering. I have not given up one iota of love or like or taste or passion for it. Not at all. <laughs> so, have no fear. Uh, but the Felicity Paisley is a breast cancer pattern this year. And I did get a tote from the paper store, which hasn't arrived yet, but should be arriving soon. But I wanted something. You know, I always have my organizational things. I had to have at least one piece to match inside. So I just started with the mini cosmetic because it's a great piece to start with something I know will get used no matter what um, so it looks like it has the loose thread on the back but anyway so the pattern itself is a dark gray background it's it's like a charcoal background for sure and it has these florals and paisleys in pinks and has some light blue and yellow and coral yeah and black so it's interesting, sort of light and dark all at once. It's, it's an interesting pattern. Um, pattern placement on a small item, you get what you get. And you know, this isn't too bad. You can definitely see what the pattern is intended. And yeah, anyway. And then the inside is a very, very light gray, almost like a bluish gray, but it's gray. And then it has little floral bits all throughout. You're not gonna be able to see it too well because of the plastic but you can see the floral bits kind of throughout and there's like ribbons you can see there's ribbons just kind of connecting but it's nice it's light and so for a dark bag to have the light interior is always a good thing I think they did smartly with that but there you go and then breast cancer wise you do get a special pink tag usually it tells you yeah here we go it's pretty with a purpose. Show your support by carrying this special Vera Bradley breast cancer awareness item. The Vera Bradley Foundation for Breast Cancer has donated over 35 million to support critical advancements in breast cancer research. Learn more at verabradley.org. So there you go. And we'll keep the tag with it. All right, so that's the mini. It's the same size as the Regal Rosette one. Also, I was on a cosmetic kick. Filling in gaps. Um, this was not on sale. Even though there was a sale, Best in Show is a limited edition item, so no sales, no coupons, no deals. Um, so I paid full price for this medium cosmetic, um, but this will supplement all of the Best in Show stuff that I got already. And um, yeah, I was taking a chance. I ordered online in the blind, um, which, side note, story time, uh, yeah, the website still sucks. It sucks bad. I hate it. It's keeping me from browsing. And because the wish list is all jacked up and dumps my stuff all the time, I'm not doing my ongoing shopping and building a plan. Yeah, so they're losing business. I know it. I, yeah, so regardless of all of that, I braved the website. I filled my cart with the, all of these items that I wanted and a few others that I kind of siphoned off. Um, but I went to order. And I, I got all the way to the final page where, you know, processing, and then it kicked me back to the checkout page three times. I was, you know, I cleared the cash, I do all that stuff. No, it would not work. So I started an online chat and described the problem to the person and, and they were lovely about it. They're like, well, I can take your order here or you can call it in or you can try a different computer, whatever. No, let's just do it right here. So I got the order typed in, I gave it all to her and the chat died. I have no idea what happened. And then I couldn't even restart a chat with someone at all. So then I was mad. I was like, screw Vera, I'm not buying it. <laughs> but then my Vera love, I had to. So I called. So I called in, I got lucky. I got straight through right away, quick pickup. Thank God, because I was already getting upset. And I mean, I know it's a little thing, but you know, don't make it hard for me to spend my money. It's just not, I'm stubborn and I will walk away. I'm just saying. But I called, um, and this was sort of like strike three option, 
And they answered right away, and the gentleman I spoke with was very kind and, and very helpful, and we completed the order, no problem. I said, while I have you on the line, can I just give you some detailed feedback about your horrible website? And I said, I know you probably get it all the time, but, you know, here it is. And, and he took it like a champ, and, and I was very kind and constructive about it, but, man, that site is driving me nuts. So... All of that being said, I did order in the blind, so all the pattern placements are random. You get what you get, but I'm really, really happy with this piece. Because I, I you know, the best in show, I like it a lot, but I don't see me carrying a lot of it all the time. It, I, I, I will because I bought it, but um, but it's, it's all doggy heart, you know, memorializing my sweet Lucy and my love of Kelly and all dogs, so, well, all animals, but anyway. This one I got really lucky um, because I got all of my bits. So this is my alternate Lucy, if you will. So my Lucy number two, and here's my Lucy number one. So I got my two primes right on the front. This one's just ever so slightly cut off, but I know who it is, what it is. And then on there I also have, let me see up front. I have... Um, well, this is one of Kelly's alter egos. <laughs> and where's the other ones? So those are the main things. I got my Lucy right on the front, and that's what matters. Other ones that I really, really like, I got the retriever with the stick on the leash. I got, well, this is Kelly's coloring, so it's not Kelly, but it works. My aunt has a Scotty, that's for her. And I got the little doggy with the eat in the sock sign. Um, this is Kelly. Yeah, so... Great, great mix. All the lovely different breeds of dogs. I still wish there was more color to this, not black and gray and tan with pops of red. I mean, yeah, this could have been so much more, but I am happy to have gotten my Lucy. On the inside is, of course, the tennis balls and squirrels. So depending on your pattern placement, you can see some of the different squirrels. But yeah, so blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Really happy with my sweet dogs. And the last item I bought is a large on the go crossbody. It is a big, it is a large handbag. Um, you could use this as a work bag. It wouldn't fit like a big computer. It would fit my iPad actually. But um, yeah, so <laughs> the first time I saw this, uh, I bought one in, I think it was Foxwood and I was just like, oh my God, it's huge. But uh, yeah, it's significantly larger than the on-the-go, but not grossly. And when you start packing it and using it, it's it's totally good. I really, really, really like this bag. It, it could be an everyday bag for me. It's a little on the big side, even though we like to carry around a bunch of crap. So <laughs> we'll do another video soon with one of these for um, what's in my bag and, and see what it can hold because it can hold a lot. But let's look at this one. So it's Regal Rosette, so you have the pattern. And here you can definitely see, because it's a bigger piece, you can see those um, medallions or diamond shape pieces. Um, I did buy two of these, Shh, don't tell. One of them's a gift that, you know, that gave me the choice to pick one for me and one for them and, and divvy out the pattern placements appropriately. I also got a cosmetic to go with it. Um, yeah, but anyway. So I got two of these and two of those, but I picked this one for me. It's got kind of, it's not quite center, but it has kind of the purple X in the middle, which to me, it looked pretty good. And yes, the top piece is a bit chopped. Yeah. But it almost looks like this piece is continuous and it kind of, you know, you have your other diamond. So it almost looks like it's meant over here. Obviously it doesn't line up quite as well, but it works. You know, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, I'm pretty happy with that. On the back side, you actually got the same thing, but this I like a lot. I, I don't think there's a perfect pattern placement for this pattern, but this would be tops for me because I've got almost intact two medallions, very well centered, you know, so that split is right down the middle and I can see where even though it's a chop, you know, because it's a different piece, but the way it lines up, it looks like this wave or this ribbon of the lighter stuff 
with the purple V there. So just sort of very symmetrical, very centered. I'm all about like my OCD would drive me nuts, but this makes me really, really happy. Yeah, there you go. With the V at the bottom, of course. So yay, pattern placement can work even on a wild pattern. All right, all of that. So let's talk more about the bag itself. We've got a big zipper pocket. Yes, this is the yucky zippers. This pattern was before they transitioned to the um, performance twill zippers that are those um, slick metal looking nylon zippers that are real smooth. Yeah, but let's see. Yeah, pretty smooth. And I was reminded recently that, you know, when they are sticky and not, not smooth, you can wax them. You can use chapstick or beeswax or sewing wax and just wax the zippers and that helps them just to operate better. Um, so just a little tidbit there. It was a good reminder. I can't remember who did, but we commented back and forth on it, but yeah. So, but this one's pretty smooth actually. It is still just a little scratchy, but it's a big enough pocket that you can open it up and get your hand in there. And yeah, so nice big open pocket. Lots and lots of things will fit in there. But since I have a few things here, medium cosmetic, let's see. Yeah, it fits in there. Obviously this one is empty. So if you, and it will zip, no problem. If you fill that up to its capacity, you might not be able to fit it in there, but it does fit. And you can see, like if I push it to one side, you can see the height comes right just below the zipper, but then you still have more space on the side. So you might could use that. The mini cosmetic, obviously, fits very nicely with plenty of room to spare. And even if you had this completely full, it would still fit in this pocket. Now it does not fit vertically. I mean, yeah, no, it does not fit vertically. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe if you squish, but not really. So that's that big pocket. So any of your wallets, all that would fit there as well. And on the back, you have a slip pocket that is a magnetic slip. I love the magnets. Um, so again, just a nice big pocket and size wise, actually it's a little deeper. It's a little deeper pocket. So it goes up just a little bit higher. Here's the end here. So there's their tops of the pockets. I don't know if you can see both fingers. It's about, I want to say almost an inch taller. Um, but that means that that large cosmetic fits back there and there's the magnet. Now, again, it's empty, but if you put more stuff in there, it would still fit in that pocket, so that's cool. A piece of fabric from the factory. Okay, the small cosmetic obviously fits, all the other stuff fits, so that's good. Nice big pocket with a magnet, which I think you definitely need on a big, wide pocket like that. Okay, then you have pockets on the side, and I'll say two things about them. One, there's no closure, they're not elastic, they're just slip pockets or cargo pockets. The strap has that reinforced thing that goes all the way down to about there, which is good because this is a big bag. You could weigh this down. You don't want it tethered by just a teeny bit of fabric here. So they were smart to put a little bit more robust fixture and that's sewn all the way up and that's a nice hefty piece there, reinforced, um, thicker piece. So I think that that should hold pretty well. But this pocket, so you could put a water bottle. I just happened to grab one in a Rainbow Rosette, no less. And let's see how it fits in the pocket. It does in fact fit very nicely in the pocket and it's pretty secure. Let's see, I don't wanna dump strong. But yeah, I mean, you have to shake it harder to get that out. So it's pretty safe in that pocket, which is good. And it matches really nicely. Look at that. Yeah, so Vera Browning, yay. And I would totally carry around water like that. I am always thirsty. All right, other things that fit in this pocket. This is what I wanted to share. So I grabbed a few things that might be things you would put in a pocket. One, I have my phone and I would because I like the quick access phone option and there's no front or back. And if I put my phone here, that kind of takes that pocket away from everything else. But anyway, my big phone 6S Plus fits very nicely in this pocket. It's discreet, it's, it's as tall as the pocket, but I feel pretty secure there that it's not just going to fall out or flip out. I mean, if I dumped the bag over, yeah, it would come out, but ideally you're not dumping your bag over all the time. So my phone there fits nicely and easily in and out. 
I grabbed some other wallet options, like my primary wallet is not going to be on the side of my bag in a loose pocket like that, that's just me. But let's go big to small. So I grabbed a pill case, Parisian Paisley. This is a travel pill case, let's see if that fits in here. It does, I mean, it's, it's, it fits nicely. It's not a quick, easy in and out. You're gonna have to, you know, slide it just a little bit and grab to get it out, but it fits nice. All right, and then I got the Every Little Thing case. These are great, by the way, for a lot of things. I have two of them and they're constantly in use. It has dog hair on it because it's like a magnet. Um, this one is in mini medallion, which is a lighten up pattern, but this material is like softer. And um, I will tell you that the softness of it is a dog hair magnet, but anyway. So this, you can keep a lot of things. Like in my other one, I have an inhaler for travel. And anyways, I had a bronchitis a couple years ago and I just kept the inhaler um, and because you never know especially now with covid i didn't want to throw it away so i actually had went ahead and filled the refill and kept it because i didn't want to have breathing problems but anyways silliness um, but if you wanted to carry if you have asthma or you need an inhaler for copd or whatever you can put your inhaler in here and it protects it so it's not going to be constantly being activated and getting inhaler all over your purse and wasting your medicine um, so you can put something like that and that of course fits really really nicely in there The other thing I use it for is I use it for my Fitbit charger and the plug It's a perfect size for that So you can use it as like a mini tech case and it will protect your stuff from getting squashed. That's another option All right, I've got a coin purse. Just a regular Vera Bradley. This one is in pink elephants and It's just cotton so it's squishable, but it fits in there very nicely. So if you had this loaded up and give it some structure, it would go in even easier. Yeah, very nice. Then we got a factory style card case. Um, this one is an elderberry. It has nothing on the front, pocket on the back, and then accordion style inside to store a bunch of cards with the coin thing in the middle. So kind of a small wallet, or maybe your extra cards, or maybe your grab and go, whatever. You got some options, but just for size and fitting, um, yeah, that fits very nicely and it can go pretty deep in there. So, I mean, it's, it's this far down. So that to me is pretty secure. The other thing is if you wanted to, you can put, <coughs> sorry, a lot of talking in a dryer. It is, um, it fits right in there, but it has this quick release on there. So you could put it on a leash so that if you're afraid to, that it's going to pop out or you're going to lose it, you could leash it to this loop right here. And then, you know, just give it long enough leash to get into the pocket there. And actually, that matches really, really well. Funny thing. All right. So we've got a Heather coin purse. This is, uh, well, it was also a factory style one. It has some loose hairs there I need to fix. But let's see. This one has a little more structure to it. So it does fit there. But then we got a slim card case. This is just black midtown. Easy. I don't think I would put that in there, though it's a little loose. And then a factory style coin purse that has the extra pocket on the front. This one is in Toucan Party. And there's your little toucan. All right, but that one fits perfectly, very easily in there. So there's some options. So if those things fit, you can use with or without the cases. You can put hand sanitizer, gloves, masks, um, water bottles, obviously. Um, soda can, whatever. You can put a lot of different things in these. The reason I point all of this out is because on the regular on the go or some of the other shoulder bags that have this type of pocket, because the shape of the bag is sort of, see how it's big on the bottom and smaller on the top? Because proportionally those bags are smaller, this opening, even though that pocket is usable, the opening makes it prohibitive because it's hard to get your hand or other things in and out. But this one isn't. This one is quite nice, and that's one of the things I really like about this bag and why I bought another one. Yeah, so that's what that's all about. All right, so that covers the outside of the bag. Inside the bag, we have a adjustable strap. It's about an inch wide. It's very nice, proportional for the bag, definitely, and very good adjustability on the strap. So let's just crank this sucker out a bit and put it on and see. So, I'm wearing blue, so it doesn't quite match my outfit, but that's okay. So, I don't even have it all the way out. 
Got a lot more to go. Let's put a little bit more. So that's where I like it probably. Just hang it on my hip here. I might even go a little bit lower. But it, it's it's a big bag. I mean, yeah, I'm a big girl, but it fits nicely. So you can definitely carry a lot more stuff around with you in a bigger bag. <laughs> for sure. All right. So let me put this back for storage right now. Do, do, do. As you can see, it adjusts very quickly and easily, which is nice. Okay, inside. Huh. Uh, static. So we have two slip pockets on this side, two big slip pockets. And it is a dark interior as far as the main color, but the white part makes it pop a little better. And they did a nice, smart thing in this case. They put a trim, uh, external trim pattern on the top of those pockets so they're reinforced and that you can find them a little easier in a sea of purple specks of white and on the other side you have your privacy pocket pretty standard it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag and there you go so it's very generous the sized pocket other than that the pockets oh oh I did not know this I did not know this okay so you have a big bag, right? There's your big bag, the bottom, and you can see it tapers up the sides like I was talking about, so smaller. Um, and this does have, I wanna say like a thick facing in there. It's not, uh, I wouldn't call it semi-rigid, but like if there's something in there to make it a little stiffer on the bottom. For storage in this case, it's thin enough and came to me this way, so it's already trained. I will store it like that. I'll fold the middle in on itself and store it that way. Um, you can, of course, stuff it and store it standing, or if you are more concerned about that semi-rigid bottom holding its shape, you can bend the bag and keep the bottom flat. But this one is not necessary. I think this is a better option for storage. So for those of you asking for storage options, I'm trying to bring them in on the daily while we talk about individual items. Hopefully that will help make a lot of sense. Um, eventually, when I figure it out, we'll do a live video and I'll just go in the Vera room and people can ask any questions about anything and we'll just pointy talky and work our way through whatever people might have questions about. Um, but, not today. <laughs> so, but what I was just discovering about this bag, normally you have your slips and your privacy and, and yeah, but this bag has pockets on the ends. Now, I'm going to have to go look at my other large on the goes. I'm not sure I knew that they had this or that I ever acknowledged it, but they do. On either end, so on the end of the bag, you have an internal elastic cargo. I don't know if you can see that really well, but yeah. So, and my hand fits entirely in there. It does go all the way to the bottom. So now, I wonder, I wonder, it might be a little small for this, but you can put your water bottle inside the bag and have it not flopping all over that is in that side cargo pocket and it will it will zip ha that's good to know and then you could still use this outside pocket but you could not put water bottle inside water bottle outside because it takes they're sort of sharing that wall between them so then there's not enough space there yeah but there you go so Nice, and that, that pocket's on both ends of the bag, so that's kind of cool. I did not know that. Surprise! Yeah, yay Vera. Okay, so that's the end of this haul. Not a huge one. I did order some more stuff. I said a couple items coming from Paper Store, and yesterday was a new release, so all the Felicity Paisley stuff is out, the Bedford Plaid came out just before, but everything is full release, and the new stuff coming out is the Merry Mischief, which is your critters, and you've got a holiday plaid, which that is not the name of it. It's something plaid neutral. And there's a bunch of other things. There's some more cozy items. There's some new cozy style blankets. There's slippers and pajamas and yeah. So take a look at the preview. It is up on the site in 
full form if you can brave the site to find it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to order some stuff today myself and we'll see. So that's it for this one. Take care. Definitely have a great weekend and don't forget to washi washi. Bye for now.